Hi everyone! Today I wanted to do another special video. I wanted to do my Pride and Prejudice collection part 5, but also um, have a little section for uh, the Jane Austen game, Pride and Prejudice games that I have, um, because I never thought of putting those as part of my collection. So I'll show you the, some of the new uh, Pride and Prejudice books that I have got over the past year. I think it's been almost a year since I did my last one. Um, I'll link the videos for my other Pride and Prejudice collection down below, and then I'll show you some uh, some games, some Jane Austen games that are uh, really fun. So, here are the books that, the new Pride and Prejudice books that I have. Um, they're all kind of different. Uh, the first one is the Pride and Prejudice uh, coloring book. Um, I've had this for a while. Uh, I think I colored a page. It's able to color a page, um, but they're just really nice, um, int intricate drawings of um, stuff. Very Jane Austen-y stuff, so it's it's pretty fun if you like um, uh, adult coloring books. Um, the next one is kind of a children's book, and it's a collection of the Jane Austen stories. Um, it's from Usborne, but I think this is the British version, so it actually has all six um, uh, of her novels, and I think Sanditon in here. Let me see. Uh, oh, Lady Susan. So it has Pride and Prejudice, Northanger Abbey, Emma, Sense and Sensibility, Mansfield Park, Persuasion, Lady Susan. And then something on her, um, uh, on Jane Austen's life. So I like the illustrations. I like that it's all her books. Let's see if I can show you some more. So here's one for Emma. Um, here is... Well, kind of the intro page for Pride and Prejudice. So I really like this one. Um, if you like Jane Austen books, this is like a nice one to have to your collection. And then uh, I have a graphic novel of Pride and Prejudice. Um, there's several graphic novels that um, I've I've got uh, over the past uh, few years. Um, but this is another one, uh, kind of see the illustrations, um, some more illustrations, so I had it, when I saw that there was another one, a graphic novel, I had to add it to my collection. Um, this one is actually, it says Edgerton and Diaz. And then there's another children's book that I got. It's Pride and Prejudice. This is the Lit for Little Hands. Uh, I like getting the children's books also of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, and this one is super, super cute. It actually uses kind of the words from the book. So, near a town of Meryton lived Lizzie Bennet and her sisters. And then there's a little thing here that says, It is a truth universally acknowledged. And then you open it. That a single man must be in want of a wife. And... You can see Mrs. Bennett. Um, so it's pretty. It's pretty uh, simple, simple language. But then there's like the little things um, uh, from the book. So she is tolerable, but not handsome enough to tend to me. And then there's Lizzie, rolling her eyes. So it's really cute. There's a little pocket for the letter. And then. So this is a really cute one that I liked. And then the last book, Pride and Prejudice, this is a, a limited edition from uh, Nerdy Post. Uh, it's really pretty, you can see all, kind of all the uh, peacock feather is right there, there's the peacock. I, it taught me to hope as scarcely a lot as it, it taught me to hope as I scarcely allowed myself to hope before. So, that's very nice. So, and this is actually the novel. So, those are some of the Pride and Prejudice books that I got um, uh, within the past year. 
So, here are some Jane Austen games. So, I like playing games, and uh, here are some. So, the first one I want to talk about is Top Trumps, and this is from actually the uh, Jane Austen Center in England. So, there are cards. There's all face cards of the different characters, like literally all the characters from her books, Persuasion, um, Pride and Prejudice, all that. And then you deal the cards, and then there's little numbers, and then depending on who has the higher number per round um, gets the cards, and then whoever ends up with all the cards at the end win. Uh, so this was this was a fun game. Uh, me and my mom like to play this one. So Jane Austen, Top Trumps. We like to play this game, but my mom keeps winning. I don't know. I don't know why. So then another game uh, that I got. Uh, I haven't played this game uh, yet with other people, but there's like ways to play by yourself in like different. Um, rules, but it's called Jane, As Jane Austen Matchmaker. So there are cards of all the characters from her books again, and then they have numbers, and then you try to make matches. Uh, so the fun thing about this is that a character from Pride and Prejudice could be married to a character from Emma, or um, a character from Persuasion could be married to a character from uh, Sense and Sensibility. Uh, and then Depending on the match you make, each match gives you a certain amount of points. And then, um, depending on who has the most points at the end is the matchmaker. So this one was, uh, seems like a fun one. Um, you can actually get the rules to play by yourself. And uh, the, the thing, like, to play by yourself is actually called um, uh, marrying the Bennets. So it kind of focuses on Pride and Prejudice. So, yeah, this one is a fun one. And the last game, so there's three games, and the last game I find I have found the most fun, and it is marrying Mr. Darcy. And this was a game that we some my mom didn't think she would like, but once we started playing, it you get very very involved in the game. Um, I even played with my brothers, and one of my brothers said, this is a cutthroat game! Um, so in this game, you get to choose which character from Pride and Prejudice you are, and you try to get points throughout the first round, of, first section of the game. And then depending on how many points you have, is who you are allowed to um, potentially become engaged to and marry. And then the second round of the game is is who you actually try to find who you marry. So this was fun. Um, there's event cards that you pull up and, to get the points, and the event cards uh, kind of go back to the books. There's one, oh, you go through the mud to see your sister, deduct two points. Or you read a letter with good news, you get five points. So kind of like that. Uh, so this one was very fun. I uh, played it multiple, multiple times. I have yet to win, but it's just a super fun game. And there's an expansion pack of Emma. So it works the same way. Um, you have event cards, you get points for your characters, but all the event cards now um, have things that happened in the book Emma. So oh, you go pick strawberries at Mr. Knightley's uh, house, get five points, um, like that. So um, my actually, my, my family and I kind of alternate through both of these because they're both really fun. Truth be told, the Emma one is a little more cutthroat than this one, and you get very, very involved in um, who you're going to marry and all that. So these are two very uh, fun games. So 
that was my Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice Collection Part 5. Um, like I said, I will put the other parts down below. Um, so you can watch and see the other books, the Pride and Prejudice books that I have. I think I have a bit over 40. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you like this quick video. Um, if you have played any of those games, or if you want to play any of those games, let me know in the comments below because they are really, really fun. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.